I've used travel credit cards to travel all over the world for free by taking advantage of miles, opening bonuses, and other benefits that credit cards offer. In my last video, I taught you step-by-step -step how I travel for free using travel credit cards, and today I'm going to show you the best travel credit cards that are on the market this year so you can start traveling for free too. Hey guys, I'm Indigo from the Indigo Sahara Travel Blog where we help hundreds of thousands of travelers just like you make their travel dreams a reality through budget travel tips and destination guides. So be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my future budget travel tips. And be sure to watch until the end of the video because I actually have a free quiz to help you decide exactly which travel credit card is best for you at this point in your life. It's going to make it a lot easier to decide so you're going to want to stick around for that. I know it can be super overwhelming trying to figure out which credit card works best for you. So don't worry, I did all the research and personal experience for you so that you can just make this process a lot easier and get those free flights sooner. We're gonna break this video into three sections. The best credit cards overall, the best travel credit cards with no annual fee, and the best travel credit cards with the best opening bonus. Let's start with the best travel credit card overall. On top, we have the Capital One Venture X followed by the Capital One Venture card. When I say the Capital One Venture X card is the king of all travel credit cards, believe me. In fact, I'm going to be upgrading to this card probably this year because it is just too good to be true. I know the majority of other travel bloggers also have this card open and that's when you know it's a really good card. Here's some of the pros. You get 10 miles per dollar spent on Capital One travel hotels and rental cars, five miles per dollar spent on Capital One travel flights, two miles per dollar on all other purchases, which is really good and the same as the Capital One Venture card, which I'm gonna be talking about in a second. 10,000 mile anniversary bonus each year your account is open, $300 in annual travel credits, airport lounge access, no foreign transaction fees, travel insurance coverage, and more. So right there, you can already tell that their annual fee, which is one of the cons, is paid off. Plus, if you spend $4,000 in the first three months, you get an opening bonus of 75,000 miles, which equals at least $750 in free flights. That's a round trip flight to Europe. Besides the high 20 to 30% APR, which is pretty typical across all travel credit cards, the real only con to the Capital One Venture X is the high annual fee of $395 during the time I'm recording this. But like I alluded to earlier, all of those benefits easily pay off the card if you travel enough and if you can afford the annual fee. The annual fee is, at the time of recording, $395, but that means you also get $300 in annual travel credits and 10,000 bonus miles for every year you keep the account open, which is worth at least $100 so that already covers the annual fee. So obviously this can definitely be worth it if you travel enough. Now, if you don't wanna pay that annual fee quite yet, I don't blame you, and your next best bet is the Capital One Venture Card, which is what I use and my husband uses on a daily basis. Pros, you get five miles per dollar spent on Capital One travel hotels and rental cars, two miles per dollar on any other purchase, $100 credit for a global entry or TSA pre-check, definitely get global entry. No foreign transaction fees, and it has the same opening bonus as the premium version at 75,000 bonus miles if you spend $4,000 in the first three months. Again, that's a round trip flight to Europe. The only real con of this card is that the annual fee is $95, so there is an annual fee and you do have to pay it the first year typically, but to me and how much I travel, it's worth it. Now let's move on to the best travel credit cards with no annual fee. These are great for travel hacking beginners and those of you who don't want to quite commit to having a travel credit card open long enough to really get into travel hacking, that's when I'd recommend one of these cards. Number one, the Wells Fargo Autograph Card. You get three miles per dollar on select dining, gas, travel purchases, and more. One mile per dollar on all other purchases. No foreign currency conversion fees. 0% APR for the first year, and an opening bonus of 30,000 bonus miles after you spend $1,500 in the first three months. Guys, if you spend just $500 a month on normal living expenses like groceries and gas, 
which you probably do in this economy, <laughs> then you can get at least $300 in free flights with this card. Next we have the Built World Elite MasterCard. You get three to six points per dollar on dining purchases, two to four points per dollar on travel purchases, and listen to this. You get one point per dollar on rent. Yes, you can earn free flights just by paying your rent. With the Built Credit Card, you can earn points on any apartment rent with no transaction fee. A lot of times when you're renting an apartment, if you charge your rent to a credit card, you're gonna be charged a transaction fee. But with the Built Credit Card, you're actually not charged this fee. Plus, there are higher points per dollar on the first of the month, AKA rent day. Some travel insurance protection, one point per dollar on all other purchases, and no foreign currency conversion fees. Unfortunately, there's no opening bonus with this card and you have to use the card at least five times a month in order to get the points. But if you're renting, this could be a very lucrative way to get free flights. Next, we have the US Bank Altitude Connect card. I don't know why more people aren't talking about this card. I used this card last year and I was able to travel hack my way to $500 in free flights. I have an entire video of exactly how I did that, so I will link that video and put it in the description so you can watch that after. With this card, you get five miles per dollar on Altitude Reward Center travel bookings, four miles per dollar on gas station and EV station purchases, two miles per dollar on grocery and dining purchases, two miles per dollar on all other purchases, and get this, a 50,000 mile opening bonus when you spend just $1,000 in the first 120 days of the card being open. Plus you get a bunch of other goodies like no foreign transaction fees, $100 global entry or TSA pre-check credit, some airport lounge access, and wait for it, no annual fee for the first year. This means as long as you earn the bonus, redeem the bonus points for free flights within the first year before that first annual fee of $95 is due and close the card, then you don't have to pay the annual fee. You just get those free flights. All right, next let's talk about the travel credit cards with the best opening bonuses since that's where you're gonna get a lot of free flights. Now this first travel credit card is pretty expensive, but the opening bonus is just way too good not to include. So if this is in your budget, and if you travel enough for the annual fee to be worth it, then this could be a really good card for you. And that is the Platinum Card from American Express. You can earn up to 150,000 bonus miles after you spend $8,000 in the first six months. That's at least $1,500 in free flights. Plus you get five miles per dollar on Amex travel purchases, one mile per dollar on other purchases, $1,500 in select statement credits, $189 clear plus credit, which is similar to TSA PreCheck, premium car rental status, airport lounge access, and more, all for a hefty annual fee of $695. But like I said with the Capital One Venture X card, the annual fee can definitely pay off if you travel enough and if you can afford that annual fee this year. If you can't afford that annual fee this year, put this on a list for someday travel credit cards. <laughs> Next is the IHG One Rewards Premier Card. You get 140 bonus reward points after you spend $3,000 in the first three months, up to a whopping 26 points per dollar spent at IHG hotels and resorts, five points per dollar on select travel purchases, five points per dollar on gas, five points per dollar on dining, three points per dollar on all other purchases, plus you get a free anniversary IHG hotel night stay every year. You get a free fourth night stay on three night bookings, credit for global entry, TSA pre-checked or Nexus, automatic IHG elite status, and all for an affordable annual fee of $99. This card has some of the best points per dollar value I've seen on any travel credit card. One thing to keep in mind is that these are mostly for free hotel stays and not flights, but to me, free is free. Similarly, next on our list, we have the Hilton Honors American Express Aspire card, which gives you a massive opening bonus of up to 180 
1,000 bonus points after you spend $6,000 in the first six months, 14 points per dollar at Hilton Hotels and Resorts, seven points per dollar on select travel purchases, seven points per dollar on dining, three points per dollar on all other purchases, Again, great points per dollar here. I really think this is probably Hilton and IHG's way of competing with some of the non-branded or airline travel credit cards, but great rewards nonetheless. Plus, complimentary Hilton Honors Diamond status, $400 Hilton Resort credits semi-annually, a free night annually, $200 flight credit per year, 189 clear plus credit, and treated like royalty? My sister and her husband actually have this card open, and because they have the card, and therefore have the Hilton Honors Diamond status in Amsterdam, where no one has travel cards, and therefore very few people have Hilton Honors Diamond status, they were treated like a royalty apparently. They were met by the hotel staff. They were able to choose their room scent. I didn't even know that was a thing. They got to choose from a pillow from a pillow menu. They got teas and chocolate. You get the picture. They were treated like royalty. If that all sounds great to you, unfortunately you do have to cough up a annual fee of $550. <laughs> and there you have it, the best travel credit cards this year. Now, I know that that was a lot of information and kind of overwhelming, and you probably are like, oh, which card should I get? So if that's you, I do have a free downloadable quiz that I will link in the description below that will help you decide exactly which travel credit card is best for you at this point in your life. So be sure to check that out. And if you take the quiz, I wanna know your results in the comments below. So please let me know and be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my future budget travel tips. Until next week, ciao.